I love walking out to my car around this corner here. Because there she is. What's up guys, Jeebs here, back with another video. I just drove all around uh, Tempe, just trying to find an area just like this. Uh, there's a little, uh, little lake, I guess you would call it. Uh, definitely not natural, but there's a lake in the background. Just wanted to get a different scenery for you all, let you know that water does exist in Arizona. It is rare. But I wanted to bring you some updates. Uh, there were comments in the last video and I thought it was relevant to bring up. We did a couple things, had a couple issues with the car lately. First thing was I just had the windshield replaced for the second time. So I got a brand new windshield on there and it is an OEM windshield as you can see right there. It has the Ford logo on it. Um, so if someone were to look at this, I think it would match up identical to an OEM shield that would come out of the factory. The second thing, um, I got this cap replaced right here. Uh, so that if I were to replace it on my own, that would have been a $17 uh, project. but. You know, it's not very expensive, but at the same time, the car is under warranty. Might as well let them take care of it. I asked for the part for them to just give it to me, but warranty work has to be done by Ford and the manufacturer for them to cover it. Now, the final thing here that we did lately was the radiator fluid. Um, so as you can see right here, there's max right here. This is the max line, and then there's the minimum line. Now, this is a pressurized tank. So if I were to right now unscrew this, which do not do that. If your car was just running and it's hot, that's pressurized, that will, that will all shoot up out of there and you'll, you'll be pissed. So a lot of that is vacuumed in there. So the second they release this pressure, this fills back up. And they said, let me just tell you what the service advisor told, wrote in the thing here. Customer reports the washer cap is separated. They, they fixed that. Uh, did the multi-port inspection. Okay, so for now the coolant level. So uh, range when engine was, was hot. Uh, when pressure was released from the system, the coolant level went above the min mark. So it was fine. But they went and they topped off the coolant. There were no leaks found, which some of you asked, and the coolant may have been uh, not topped off at the last oil change. So that could have been an issue. Um, but you know, that's that. So, and, and I also wanna bring that up that was not tip, topped off at the last oil change. I wasn't even aware that they were topping that off uh, on oil changes, but it's just another value of taking it to the dealership um, and letting them service it. You know, paying 75 bucks for a full synthetic oil change to me is not that expensive and it's worth it because they do all the specs. It's all recorded on a piece of paper, so you can just have it all filed away. And that's just kind of nice. Uh, nice peace of mind, something that uh, I value when taking my car to the dealership. And if you guys work for Ford, if you're in the shop or anything like that, like put in some other things that maybe Ford does that I'm not even aware of or a lot of the viewers aren't even aware of uh, that own these cars. So other than those three things, the, the ST is back on its feet, but I've had, again, windshield, that's rock trip, you can't, that, that happens. Uh, this was a weird thing and this was actually okay. So. No, again, still 31,400 miles, no major issues. Car still looks great. It's fun to drive. Everything's warranted and fine. Um, so I can't complain too much. That's the update. Just drove about 15 minutes to make this video. All right, so we uh, got car stuff out of the way. Let's walk over this pond and check things out. I will say, uh, I, I got my, if you're wondering where I get my car, there's shit all over this thing. Uh, if you're wondering where I get my car serviced in Arizona, um, I get it done at Santan Ford. That's where I bought the car as well. Uh, wasn't a huge fan of the sales process there, but at the same time, it can vary rep to rep. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. But the service has been very good. Uh, the service advisor, I'm not going to give his name, but he's just... He's really good. I mean, he's funny, he's personable, um, takes care of me. I've always had a good service experience there. The only thing I could complain about is sometimes I've said, please do not wash my car, and they wash it through a, a brush wash, not like a hand wash or anything like that. So picky of me to complain about that, but at the same time, if you care, you know that those brushes scratch your paint um, and leave marks in it. But I'm getting my car detailed soon um, by actually one of you guys. I'm going to have him do my car and my fiance's car because uh, again, I got that group on and it said it was a spray wax. So I got that returned and I'm going to have him, uh, I'm going to do a full video on it, on his process and detailing the car. So that should be pretty cool. Oh, here comes some little duckies. Yeah. 
but uh, yeah, so that's that's about it. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you're at in the world. Uh, some of my next videos, like I said, I'm going to be doing more car reviews coming up. I'm also going to do some spoof videos on other automotive YouTubers that I've been thinking up for a while and writing out the... Uh, not like a script, but just kind of the ideas, just so they stay front of mind, and I think you all will enjoy those as well. So, gonna keep it fresh, you know, I can't, ca as much as you guys want me to be cranking out ST videos, I gotta throw some other stuff in there as well. But uh, thank you all for watching, really appreciate the support. Let's get to 10K subs, and uh, we got some giveaways coming up. Hope you're enjoying the content. Thank you for watching, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.